What if I told you you could build a full website in under five minutes, typing just a command to AI? So this is Easy Site. This is from the team that brought out New Oaks and they've been incredibly supportive with that product. They've constantly developed it. They've listened to the community and feedback. So I was really keen to see what this platform can do. So thank you very much for the team for inviting me to test this out. It's a very simple interface. As soon as you land here, you can see we've got the home templates. We can skip over pricing, your websites, and then the projects you're doing. And then you've simply got a very simple section here where you're going to enter what it is you want. Now below that are popular prompts. Be careful clicking these. I thought it would show the prompt. It doesn't. It goes straight away into generating whatever it is you're clicking on. So just watch out for that. And then they do have a range of templates as well. So if we just open these up, what I found really interesting is that they're positioning EasySite to do a little bit more than just your standard website. So you can see we've got here, this is an interior design portfolio, but then we've got a Wordle, we've got Solar System, Chat to PDF. So there's all sorts of different templates to give you ideas and inspiration about what you might want to create. Future Mark here, just editing the video, and unfortunately the screen recording failed for some reason when I initiated the build of a new website. But essentially what I did, so you can open this asset section, you can add images, videos, other, but what I did, I came into the custom knowledge and I gained a load of useful information from Neuron Writer for, the, for a particular search term. I'd checked it over, edited it and put it in here. This is where you would put custom knowledge about the business or website that you're trying to build. So you can talk about styles, maybe give it information about phone numbers, locations, all that kind of good stuff. And then in here, you would put your prompt and that prompt would be, you know, build a landing page for, build a full website for, whatever it is you're looking for. And then you'll see the actual builder go to work. It will be building the code, it will show you the coding on screen, and it will show you the pages it is building. So after about three, four minutes, we've got the finished site. You can see down the side here, it's created all these different elements for it. And you also have the option of enabling database. Now, I haven't experimented with that yet, um, but it's cool that it's built in because I don't actually know if I can add my own contact form. So that's something I need to experiment with. You can see the site here, it's looking a little bit squashed because it's only in this narrow window. So let's make that full screen. So I like what they've done at the top, that looks pretty cool. And we've got the menu bar, get free quote. You can see it's all animated. It's picked a nice image. Again, nice, nicely animated. Renovation services. So it's got this hover effect. Yep, look very nice. It's looking good. And if I click request service, it's going to take me to the contact form. So let's scroll back up. Then we've got how it works. So one, two, three, four. Good, good. Then we've got the quote form. We've got testimonials. You'd obviously want to replace those with your own, your client's testimonials. Why choose the service? I'd be good if there's a few more. And then we've got some portfolio. Uh, these, they, they don't do anything, you can't click on them. We've got some FAQs. This is based on the information I put in the um, asset library, I think. I need to double check those. And we've got a nice footer. It's picked out really good colors. It's given me an address, phone number. If you were doing this for real, you'd want to provide that information so it's correct. It's made it up here, which is fine for the purposes of this demo. Uh, we don't have don't have a privacy policy, so that would need adding really and maybe a terms of service, something like that. Let's exit the full screen. So now if we go down, we can have a little look at what else we've got. We've got select elements. Okay, so this is where we can edit things. So if I just turn that off a second, uh, scroll down to the what was it, testimonials, scroll up to the testimonials. So we want to do editing. And then we can click in here. And now this can just be edited, just normal text editing. Quite easy. You can see down the side here, you've got some extra information in terms of the font weight, the content. I could click here and edit it as well. Uh, what else we've got? Oh, that's the class. So 
lots of information, but quite easy to update that bit. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to select element and I'm going to select the footer and I am going to type my instruction here. So this is for the AI to sort out. So I'm going to say, please add a policy to the footer. So you can give the AI additional instructions. It saves you having to work out how to actually create certain sections or how to add a link. And so I've asked it now to include a privacy policy link because we didn't have that. It's now going to create the code. And there we have the privacy policy link. Now I say full screen, privacy policy. Okay, so it's not going anywhere yet. So we'd need to add that as a page, but it's put the link there ready okay so what else can you do I, I obviously need to tidy this up a little bit but just to give you a quick rundown we can now view the full code so here's the code for you if you're into this kind of stuff and you can download the files you click that it will download it so if you want to host this elsewhere you can do so you can just download that if you're hosting it via the easy site platform now if you're going to publish this you've got a few options we can publish this to easy sites and that would be its own subdomain or one of your custom domains. You can do it to WordPress, Postingo or WordPress itself, or you can do Net Netlify, don't know that one. So it's Future Mark editing the video again and I just wanted to cut in about the WordPress hosting options. So when you say publish, you get the different options I've just shown you. And one of them was WordPress. Now, a lot of people might think that means you are deploying a site and it will be part of WordPress, but that's not what it means at all. So when you hit publish, you select WordPress, you put in your FTP details and the remote path file, if you deploy to WordPress in my example case was WP hyphen content forward slash. When that's deployed, what you actually end up doing is replacing WordPress with a static site. So you can't use blogs, you can't use plugins, none of that stuff. Essentially, the, the website itself just becomes the static site that you've built using EasySite and you are just using uh, hosts that can host WordPress sites. So quite often you can get a uh, WordPress site plan and maybe you can host, I don't know, five WordPress sites. One of those sites you would set it up and then you would use EasySite to deploy a static site in place of WordPress. So I hope that makes sense. But essentially, the wording around it is a, is a little bit misleading. This cannot, at least not at the time of review, create a website that is a WordPress website. It simply uses the hosting platform that could be used for WordPress instead of WordPress. So hopefully that clears that up. Your other options are to just use the uh, easy site hosting itself. That to me, in this case, feels a little bit more useful because I don't really see the point in wasting space on um, a WordPress hosting plan where these guys will host it for you and you can edit it and all the rest of it. You don't get any benefits from hosting on a WordPress site because it isn't part of WordPress. So when you say publish, let's say deploy to the easy sites. And once it's deployed, you get a easy site URL. Obviously, you probably want to bind this to a custom domain instead. So that's it to create the privacy policy and the AI has done that. It's created a new page with the privacy policy. So we'll just hop over and take a look. So here it is. It's uh, dated it and we've got a full privacy policy in place. Obviously, you want to check all this stuff over, but it's great that it just gets you started and then you could go in and edit it. So this is interesting. I've just noticed on the privacy page when I click home, it doesn't actually go home. The, the menu buttons don't appear to be working and that's because they've been set as anchor links on the current page rather than an anchor link to the home page. Now I expect it's done that because this set this up as a one page website to begin with and I've asked it to create the uh, privacy policy page. So I'm now going to have to go back and ask the AI to update these links so they work correctly. So you can see at the top here I've told it the problem, the menu links only work on the home page and it's now reported that it's successfully updated the links and it's explained what the change is. 
So it's very cool. Normally you would have to manually go through it, but here you can just click a few buttons, tell the AI what the problem is and get it to sort it for you. So there's a few things that bug me. Overall, this is a very easy to use system. You can see I've created a website very quickly. I've done some updates, but I do think sometimes it uses AI to edit the website when you don't really need to. For example, what if I wanted to change this image in the background? Well, on these sections, I can go and I can pick an image. I can upload an image, put it in and update it. But on these top sections here, you can see there's nothing for me to edit. So I can't change that background image without using the AI. Similarly, I found when I wanted to change the link at the bottom, the privacy policy link, if I click on it, there's no link there. So unless I'm missing something, I have to use AI to update the links. Now, I suppose in some sense that is better because in theory it should do a better job. And if you're trying to update all these links, that would be quicker. And perhaps you can edit it in the code, but of course I don't really want to be messing around with code, it's not my thing. So I would perhaps like a little bit more manual control over being able to update certain aspects so that it's just quicker without having to run the AI over and over again, especially because I'm on a plan that is a bring your own key plan. And so every time I'm using AI, it's costing me a little bit of money. I say a little bit because I really mean a little bit. It costs very little. I've run this quite a few times. I think in total across uh, however many websites I've done, one, two, three, four, there's about five websites there. I think it's maybe cost $2, $3, something like that. I'm on tier three of Anthropic and I'm told that tier four produces better results, which is why they are recommending people deposit the $400 to get them their Anthropic accounts up to that tier four. So I'm back again because after I recorded most of this video, another announcement was made, another update. I told you they work fast and they are now offering an, uh, an open router option. I haven't explored this yet, but essentially open router is an aggregator. You can connect to lots of different AI models through it. And this is a way of bypassing that $400 Claude element because by going through open router you would immediately get access to the highest tier plan but i think it's it's produced pretty good output as it is clearly there's quite a lot more that i need to play with for example at the top here you've got this option to generate an android app you've got the option to add a database so i need to really go ahead and dive in but i just wanted to give you this first look it's pretty cool there's lots to see if you want to learn more about this, I'll put a link down below. I don't think it's an affiliate link. It might be. I'll say in the description if I've got an affiliate deal with them or not. Go check it out and let me know what you think.